Hello Lucas, that's your Vance Kennedy Lucas here. You're here in the home of Kennedy Lucas. Of course, you're here in my home. Uh, hopefully you guys are ready for another exciting video now. All over Twitter and all over messages and emails, people was requesting to do a game collection sort of review. A lot of people are asking me, Kennedy, when are you gonna do your update of your collection? It's been a while. And I've said it in previous weekend vlogs that, hey, I'll be doing a collection video and now that I have the free time is Sunday I'm off work um, this is a good day to really do it because I can really go into these videos of course there's gonna be two separate videos I meant to say in the weekend vlog and I'll say it in next weekend's coming weekend vlog so stay tuned for that show um, I'm gonna be doing two well three complete separate collections video series the first one you guys can hint from the title the Xbox exclusive collection because Xbox is the next gen console that was my recent console I bought recently and I'll go into depth of that in a minute and two I'm going to do a full-blown ultimate collection video of every game that I have in my collection including the Xbox briefly in that video I'm briefly going to describe uh, when I go through the Xbox collection I'm just briefly gonna show up and just flash it out and and just talk about it briefly because that's the purpose of this video but that video briefly with Xbox but with my PlayStation 3 my PlayStation Vita my 3DS I will go in length of those games and I'll try to remember when I got the games of course I can't remember when I got every game so you know bear with me on that video so that's gonna be coming up uh, we're filming that right after this video so it's gonna be sort of separate I'm gonna have the same clothes on and everything in the video but it's gonna be two separate videos from two different locations here in my home um, and of course my game informer magazine collection video we're gonna be filming that later on today as well special thanks to uh, Henry break he actually uh, gave me some of his magazine so I'm gonna give him an official shout out in that video as well so hopefully you guys are ready for this um, of course I'm not perfectly well I, I'm sort of sort of dressed but sort of not dressed you know my hair is not done I wanted to make this more intimate because I'm here in my home I don't have to get super dressed up for something like this because I'm really it just relaxed with this these type of videos I'm just really relaxed but you know a lot of people have been asking me hey when are you gonna do a collection video when are you gonna do it like so today is the day where I have some free time where I can actually sit down and really film it um, of course I gotta go into the studio today and uh, edit more of the mo new movie out of bounds real cool movie so far so um, down to the need and greed, the meat and potatoes of the video. Uh, Xbox One is a good console. I really do love my Xbox One. I will have the official video of the Xbox One unboxing in the link description below, so uh, you guys check that out because I, uh, you know, that was a great day. I had a big bonus from work, and I, I decided to go out and invest in a next gen console. I told myself within the year of 2016. I will get a next gen console, you know, because uh, everybody has an Xbox One or almost anybody who has an Xbox One or a PlayStation 4, and I don't have a next gen console yet. So I'm like, okay, next year when I have the money, I will go and get me a next gen console because I want one because everybody has one. So I went out. Um, at first, when I was a little bit younger, I was thinking about investing in a PlayStation 4. Um, the reason why I didn't go for a PlayStation 4 because their their price is a little bit expensive. Um, with me, I'm a hardcore gamer. I really am, and I'm not as cheap. It's just I know what I want to spend money on, and I know what I want to invest in on. Um, PlayStation 4 was really expensive. Um, they nailed the price down to $300, which which is great. Uh, Mac then they was selling it for $500 and a, a little bit extra for more accessories. Uh, the PlayStation VR is $200. It's just it's a huge investment. If you were to buy all that, because when you buy a next gen, a new console, you have to buy games. You need to get some starter games to get you started. That's going to be around $50. And if you want to, if you want to invest in PlayStation VR, that's $200 right there. So in total, you know, that's about $800, $900 almost a thousand dollars investment in video games so I went with a, a cheaper route I GameStop had some refurbished sales uh, I've got my Xbox for two hundred and forty dollars I think that was a steal to me um, 
And of course I got some starter games, so I ended up, oh, and I also paid for some accessories like the controller charger. I knew that's something I wanted because one thing, a key thing about Xbox is that they they don't make, their, their controllers are wireless, but they don't make battery packs for them, so you have to buy batteries. Something Xbox should really work on because batteries are very expensive, and I read online that we're running out of batteries, so... Uh, in the world where we're just running out of batteries, we're running out of helium, we're running, we're running out of stuff. Uh, so I ended up buying a battery pack for both my controllers and the charger so when I have my brother come over, uh, I think he's going to come over today and play this one game that I'll show you. Um, I ended up buying the battery pack so in, in total I ended up spending a total of like $400 for everything for my next gen console. Uh, my controllers, the controller packs, the accessories, and of course three games that got me started. So, um, about around four hundred dollars. I think that was a huge steal for me, because um, it, it was just you, you know, it was a little bit of investment, but you, I saved money. You know, I didn't spend a thousand dollars for this next console. I didn't spend a whole lot of money on this. So, um, just you know, so I try to find a cheaper way to, with finding games. So. Um, so, I have a big stack of my Xbox One collection. It grew, y'all. I had like three, like four games that I bought uh, for starter, and now it grew up to about 21 games I have in my collection right now. I'm very proud of this. I'm in love with this because, you know, I told myself, hey, I'm gonna build this collection up, and I think I have. Um, I recently bought two, uh, three other games uh, last week, so uh, that's, we're saving the newest games for last because those are the most recent ones. Um, so I think I am done collecting for now. Um, I know there's new games going to come out like, um, uh, Ghost Recon, uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is coming out. I want that game. Horizon Zero Dawn, I want that game as well. And the new Sonic game is coming out for Xbox One too, so I'm going to get that eventually. So down to this collection here is just, I'm very proud of this collection and I'm really glad that I am fortunate enough to have this in my collection because I I really do love this kind of stuff. I'm a huge gamer. I've, if most of you don't know, I'm a huge gamer. Like, I love video games. I like to play them when I am have some time off. Nowadays, I don't really have a lot of time. Uh, I took some time at work, so which was really great. I uh, took a day off, so um, yeah. So let's get on to this uh, little review, this little uh, collection video here. So the first game in my collection, this was a starter game for me, really, really fun. I was a little bit bummed that this didn't have a story mode, but it's okay. My brother, Ryan, my brother, ended up loving this game because he never really played first person shooters. Uh, you can switch between first person and third person, so I am really relieved that he finally played a shooter game with me because he never really had before. So this is Star Wars Battlefront. Um, this game here is fun. I absolutely love this. Uh, it's different, you know, the quality style is really good, so uh, I'm not too, it's not too shabby, really. It's really not. It's a co-op mode from Xbox Live and local play, of course, because me and my brother played a little lot. Um, I really do enjoy this game, really. It's just, I, I, I'm a little bummed that it didn't come with a story mode, that's all. I love, I'm a campaign player, so I really do like a, a nice campaign uh, within a game, so the fact that this didn't come with a, um, a campaign mode. It's kind of a bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, if they make a next one, they're going to come out with a campaign uh, game here. Scooch this aside, put that there. This next game I got around Christmas time. I like the movies. Uh, Robert, shout out to Robert Downey Jr. because he played in both in two movies, uh, the newest two movies in 2008 ish, 2007. This is uh, Crimes and Punishment, Sherlock Holmes, or Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishment. I haven't really played this game a lot lately. Uh, it's fun, you know, it really got you thinking. It's, you walk around, it's not really too much action that goes on to this game, uh, which was kind of like, a, eh, okay, it's not really too much of an action game, but you're just you're solving crimes, and you're just walking around, and you're just naming your, your culprit. So it's just that type of game where it's like a puzzle solving. It's not really a, a shooter, not really a, a first person shooter, or it's more of like an adventure, really. Okay, so this next game, 
every anime fan should have in their collection for the next gen console. Um, they made so many versions and so many shows, so many video games. I decided to go for this one because uh, they had a third one, but I wanted the fourth one because that is the newest one that I know of. Until they make a fifth one, they probably will make a fifth one. This is uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Um, I love it. It's just that when my brother plays, he's a hardcore gamer as well, so he, he kicks my ass in this game sometimes. So that's kind of a bummer because I can't never beat him. Uh, so they have two versions of story mode, actually. They have a story mode where you go through the actual timeline of the characters and an adventure mode where you're actually walking around in a world hub and you're fighting alongside. So that was kind of very unique. They have tons of characters. So many characters that I don't really know from the show. I just know the main of, of Naruto and his friends. I don't really know all the other characters. Uh, my favorite character is Rock, is Rock Lee. Rock Lee's my favorite um, in Naruto history. But um, so many characters. And from Viz Media, of course, Viz Media is an anime studio that I follow on Instagram because they made so many great anime that I've seen. So I really do like how they implemented the big boss battles. Like if you're fighting giant bosses, it's more easier. I can see why Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi sort of copied their version from Naruto into their element, but it didn't really sell right to me. And you'll know, and I'll probably talk about it in the next game collection video, but this, they really implemented the boss battle, big boss battle, well in this game, honestly, because it's more easier for me. I'm not really a button masher because it hurts my fingers, so button, button mashing is like, ugh, okay, that, that hurts, you know? So yeah. Next game here, I also got around Christmas time. Uh, this game is fun, really. It really is. This first person is different. Um, they have a second one uh, that I probably will collect in my collection sooner or later. Um, this game is really unique. Uh, it's different. It's, it reminds me of Thief. Uh, if you guys remember Thief, uh, it kind of reminds me of Thief because it has that sort of first person element from Thief. Um, so, this game here is Dishonored Definitive Edition. It's only first person. Uh, first person, first player. There's no Xbox Live. It's from Bethesda. Um, again, this game is fun. I need, to, I need to play this game more because I haven't played... I played a lot of this game on Christmas break, but um, I haven't played it a lot. So I probably will play it sometime uh, this uh, week. Of course, this week for us is spring break, so... It's not really spring break because I'm still working, but uh, this spring break week, so I probably will brush up on this game as well. My impressions on this game, I really do like the art style of it. It's more dark, it's more, more like a darker tone video game. You need that in your collection. You need a darker game in your collection. You don't want to have all like sunshine games in your collection. So with this game, yeah, I you know I bite I bite with this one. Very very unique, different. I like it. Of course, this next game, oh, you have to have in your collection if you do not. I specifically rebought this game because I have this on PlayStation 3, but I rebought this game specifically for the 1080p resolution and the first person experience of GTA 5. Of course, I have every, the next gen console, they implemented a first person shooter for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. My brother has a friend who has the same exact game on PlayStation 4. I did a play a test play on it because he we went over to his place and I played around with him. Like, okay, I'm gonna get this because it's really fun. It's really unique as a first person experience in the Grand Theft Auto 5 series. So that's that's all I can say about this game, really. I just I again I bought it for the first person experience and it's great. Um, it's just it's and it's just really good. Um, I bought this used, but I think it was new because it was still in the paper when I bought it, so, uh, yeah. GTA 5, y'all. This next game didn't really come with a cover case, so I'll just open the box, of course. Um, I have to get this game, too. This game is, eh, eh, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it is what I, what I anticipated on it being. Um, this is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah, I mean, with this game, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, uh, you know, it's it's different. It's different than Assassin's Creed Black Flag or Assassin's Creed Three. Um, so it's a little bit different. It's kind of, it's more easier. Um, 
Assassin's Creed 3, when I first got that game, it was so hard to play. Uh, because that was my first Assassin's Creed game, so it was just like, I'm kind of a noob at it. Um, but with that, it's a little bit easier. Alright, so this next game is not too hard, but not too easy. Um, the one thing I really don't really like uh, is that you need Xbox Live, and my Xbox Live haven't been up to code. Hence that I'm sort of, that's why I'm stalling with the uh, uh, online, the uh, different styles of play that Inspiron Game and my gaming channel um, is doing. Because my Xbox Live haven't been up to code lately, I don't know what's, what's wrong with it. So, um, this is Tom Clancy's The Division. It's not too bad, it's just the whole Xbox Live thing, it's just, I, I really don't really like games that just you need Xbox Live to play. Like, because I'm a, again, like I mentioned before, I'm a campaign player. I like campaigns, I like story modes in a video game because it tells a story of how they really make this game. But I'm not really shitting too much on this game because it's really fun though. The style, the art style is different. Um, real good graphics of this game and it's Tom Clancy I love Tom Clancy anything with Tom Clancy I love so um, yeah so this next game reminds you of GTA in Japan of course I had to buy this game because it was very barely cheap and uh, I didn't have this in my collection I said to myself I was gonna get this so I ended up getting it for the next gen console so this is Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition and it does remind me of GTA in Japan or in Tokyo, wherever they are. Yeah, I think they're in Japan. But in Japan, GTA. So that's, I mean, that's all I can say about this game here. It's just, it's really cool. You know, you're fighting, you're shooting, you're racing, you're, you know, it's just Hong Kong. I'm sorry, Hong Kong. So, yeah. Okay, so this next game, holy crap. <laughs> this game is different and I love that about this game I really do um, this game here it sort of requires Xbox Live but you can still do story mode alongside with the game here I do have this uh, other game in my PlayStation 3 collection uh, so you'll see that video uh, right after this video so this is Homefront the Revolution And it said it's Philadelphia in 2029. Oh my God, I'm gonna be old by then. Um, but yeah, this game is this game is fun. I, I like this one. I haven't played it as much as I should have um, because you know, again, I never really have time to really sit down and spend all day playing games. But this one here, this was a good buy. Good buy. All right, so this next game here, it didn't come with a case. Again, some of these games are pre-owned; they don't have a decorative cover for it. So. Um, this game here was a Xbox exclusive. Microsoft Studios did this game, and when the day one edition of Xbox One, they advertised this game a lot. So this is Rise, Son of Rome. What can I say about this game? It's different. I like it. Um, story mode's really good. I don't, I'm stuck on this one level who, where you have to defend your people, because your people are stuck in these cages, and it's nighttime, and you have these big old ogre looking monsters so I'm still stuck on that because I keep getting killed by the monsters so that's one thing I'm stuck on uh, with that but um, real good game really it really is it's different the style is different and better quality better quality so as most of you guys know I'm a huge Batman fan so of course I had to get this game because it was, this was the newest Batman installment alongside with the Batman VR which looks really fantastic by the way is you got to be the Batman Batman Arkham Knight. So, I'm a Batman fan. I played, I have two Batman, well now three Batman games in my collection, two of which you'll see in the next video. But this one, this one I like the most because you're driving around in your Batmobile and you're doing your typical Batman video game gameplay. Game so, that's why this, that's what makes this game different because they really brought out a different element from this game and they thought from the previous Batman games what can we do different in this one and they really prevailed and they really made this game different and I just I love it 
Okay, so of course this next game uh, I had to get for, I really bought this for my brother and I to play because we are both wrestling fans. So, of course we had to get the newest edition of WWE 2K17. Um, yeah, I spent a little bit more on this one because, again, we're huge wrestling fans and the graphic quality style of this game is fantastic. We normally used to buy wrestling games for the PlayStation 3. They would were, they were have okay graphics, but they didn't have graphics like the next gen. And this game definitely prevailed. Um, Welcome to Suplex Silly, uh, City. Um, Brock Lesnar is the cover. We didn't get the uh, Goldberg um, well, pre-order, so we ended up missing out on Goldberg. But we ended up getting this game. Uh, as well, and you know, the graphics stuff. I got most of their soundtracks bought on my iPod and iPhone right now because I do like their soundtrack in this game better than I did the last game because uh, I like their songs on this game really. So I pretty much downloaded almost every song uh, because uh, they had a whole bunch of artists like P. Diddy. P. Diddy was a producer for the music for this game, so and it's from 2K. Okay, so this next game, oh my god, this next game here, y'all. Um, this was the Xbox One's greatest hits, and I absolutely agree. Um, this game scared the crap out of me. This game is also had intrigued me. This game is different. So the 1080p and the new style game style is really resonated into this game. They really hit the nail on the head with this game. This is Wolfenstein The New Order. I wanted to buy something different, a different first person shooter, and this game really prevailed. If you do not have this in your collection, please go get it today because this game here is different. Now, it scared me because, you know, it like, because things that you don't think will happen will happen. It just, it will shock you a little bit. So you're just like, oh shit, you know, like, oh, you know, but. This game here, oh my god, you guys gotta play this one. If not anything else, play this one. Alright, so this next game here, uh, as we get to more of the newer games that we got, that I've got in my collection, of course, I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. I wanted to skip Black Ops 3 to get this one, and I'm really glad I did because this game here is, this was really good. This was the best franchise on Xbox One, this game here. Um, they really, the story mode was not too long but not too short so it was just kind of a medium story mode I mean it was you know it didn't it didn't take me long to beat it took me a couple weeks to beat this so you know I think the story mode could have been a little bit longer uh, but I think there's a mode where you can select different levels that didn't get expressed in the story mode that you can still play um, my brother and I played this uh, the multiplayer zombie he wasn't really feeling it so um, but this is Call of Duty Infinity, Infinity Warfare. Um, so this game here, this game here, um, I like. Uh, I really do like how they implemented the movies. Um, they implemented the movie scenes and the voice acting of the movies into the into this game, and I think that really, really worked. Um, this is Lego Marvel: The Avengers. Again, if you play this game, they have every, almost every scene from all the movies, such as, and it says on the back, uh, such as the first Avengers movie, Avengers uh, Age of Ultron, uh, Iron Man 3, I love Iron Man 3, Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, and Thor, the Dark World, in a classic Lego style. So, it's just like, when you play this game, it's like you're watching all, what, five of these movies into one. So, um into this one thing so this was a great idea that Marvel and Lego and uh, uh, Telltale Games did uh, with this because it really it, it worked you know it's just like you're watching the original movies but in Lego form so I uh, and you know you know how Lego games are there you know you build you go through store mode you build you break you know you know you know how Legos do it but it worked all right so these are Fairly new, actually. This game here, I need to play more. I just haven't had the time. 
um, I talked about this on the past weekend vlog uh, that I had the first one. The first one was fantastic, but the second one is even better. So Watch Dogs 2 is in my collection. Uh, you're in the city of San Francisco, you're playing this hacker, and you're going through the story mode. Um, again, I'm probably going to play this sometime this week because I haven't played this game. Uh, I played it last weekend, but this weekend I just haven't had the time. So I will probably play this uh, more. We're probably going to do a podcast over this uh, soon enough, so stay tuned for that as well. So Watch Dogs 2, y'all, is in my collection. Alright, so this next game I also talked about in my uh, past weekend show, uh, the weekend vlog show. Of course, this game I really do love. A lot of people didn't like it, but I loved it. Um, this was my first Halo game uh, of them all, really. Um, this is the first one that I had in my collection. So this is Halo 5 Guardians. Art style is really good. You're playing between two teams. Uh, of course, Spartan and um, Blue Team. I forgot the official name. Um, so, yeah, this game is fun. Story mode, it seems like it's gonna be a long story mode. I haven't beat this game yet because I recently just got this weeks ago. So, uh, it's very intense too. I love it. Um, so, I'm probably gonna play this more this weekend too. So, Halo 5 Guardian Joe. Alright, so this next game here, I am glad that I have because this is the newest one. They do have a second one out right now. The second one is still $60 at GameStop and Walmart, so I didn't, I probably will get that later, you know, because I'm not going to pay $6 for that, but this, I had, a, I had it at a cheap sale, and it came with a cool-ass case that I'm probably going to review, I'm going to review this game and the case in this coming weekend vlog, so stay tuned for that as well, because this case is just, it's a tin case, I love it. So this is Dragon Ball uh, Xenoverse. Uh, of course, for Xbox One, is added to my collection. New and improved case. I really, I love the game because of the case. <laughs> um, the case is really, really awesome. I love it. So this game here is fun. You're, you're finally, they finally implemented where you can create your own Dragon Ball uh, Z character and use your character in the story mode. Finally. Um, they finally did that and it's from this one and the second one that, that you can do it now I heard that if you have the first one for Xbox one And you go get the second one for Xbox one you can implement uh, Data from the first one onto the second one so that way you don't have to start from scratch If you don't want to so if you want to start from scratch if you want a different character You can still do that but from data from X from the first one you can copy over to the second one And you have the same character so real real cool. I love the case Okay, so now these next three and the last three are the newest games I got last week. So, um, this game here, oh my god, people were, was not lying when they said that this game is gory. I'm going to have my brother come over today and we're going to play together and see if he likes it or not. Hopefully he will. The graphic style is cool, but this game, oh my god, the creators for this game also made uh, Injustice and they're making Injustice 2. I can't wait for that game because I'm getting that too. So, Mortal Kombat X. Oh my god, this is like the most gory Mortal Kombat that I've had. Um, I had Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 and 3 when I was a little bit younger. So yeah, Mortal Kombat y'all, oh my god. And it's a cinematic story mode, so finally they implemented a story mode in Mortal Kombat because I love story mode, so I recently just played this, so this won't be beaten until a while, so, but yeah, this game is awesome. Alright, so this next game came with a cool looking case that I love, and I wanted this in my collection because I love the Mafia game. So this is Mafia 3, set in 1968 in Louisiana. So it just, it tells a story really, it really does tell the, the history a little bit. Um, so this game is really fun, I love this one too because I like the characters, I like the, the character development, I like the story mode, I like the shooting style. Shooting style is not too bad. The driving mechanics are not too bad either. So, I like how if you drive and you mess up, a police can pull you over and get, get on to you. I like that because it, it, it's more realistic. And this last game, of course, this is, uh, this is perceived as um, at the Game Show Awards the game of the year uh, in 2000, 
15, I want to believe, or 16. Um, and I actually, I agree. This game is different, and I'm glad to add this to my collection. This is The Witcher Wild Hunt. Uh, well, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Um, yes. Yes, that's all I can say is yes, because this game is it's different. It's really different, and I love different games that I get in my collection, and this was one of them. So they really did well with this game. Uh, previously bought, so I haven't beat anything of it yet. I just started the first act. Uh, I think it was last night, or before last night, so um, yes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen of Lucas Nation, my Xbox One collection. Please stay tuned for my YouTube, Daily Motion, Vimeo, or either Facebook or the website for the next coming video of my ultimate collection of every game that I have. We're going to be filming that right now, right after this video coming up next, but by the time you're seeing it, you'll probably see it soon, and it'll be the ultimate collection of every game, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Vita, uh, and, X and Nintendo 3DS. Of course, all implemented in one, and I can't believe I forgot Wii U will be at it as well. Um, so stay tuned for that video because we're we'll filming that next, and that's going to be coming up really soon. Please be sure to give us a like if you like this video, and comment if you have any questions that you want to ask about a game. Please comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you on that question. As right now, I'm Kennedy Lucas, logging out.